Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Nikki here. So today I have, yeah, I have another Primark haul. I'm just going to admit it, I've got another Primark haul. I was walking along Oxford Street and I just happened, I happened to fall into Primark. That's what kind of, the wind just blew me into Primark and they were like, go and see the Primark stuff. It actually wasn't planned. I wasn't going to do a Primark haul. I wasn't even going to do a Primark trip. But I had a bit of spare time to kind of spend and spend my money I guess so without further ado I'm just going to jump in to the video so you guys always ask me which Primarks I go to and where I get my stuff from and today everything is more or less from yeah no everything is from the Oxford Street one the Tottenham Court Road Primark which is the really big one and as you can see I've got my fair collection of these paper bags now I need to get rid <laughs> Okay, so before I forget, I'm actually going to show you guys this jumper that I'm wearing right now. I don't even know why I started wearing it. It was £10, but it's just one of these jumpers that I actually bought to kind of laze around the house with. And if I was going to do like a quick trip to Tesco or something like that, I needed to go out really quickly. It'd be something that I put on. I love fall. Fall is my favourite season. I love like the style, the fashion that comes out in fall. I love layering. And I thought this was a really nice kind of chunky knit. It is... It would, I would say it's an off-white, it's not exactly a cream but it's an off-white and it's really distressed at the bottom which I think makes it super cute. The way I've been wearing it is as a dress which I think is really nice. You can pair it with some little booties but obviously with the cold weather you can wear it with leggings, you can wear it however you want to wear it. But I do like it as one of them kind of jumper knit dresses. Then I'm going to move on to this skirt. I've already taken the label off because I absolutely love it. This skirt was £8 and I got it in a size 8. No, 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 I lie. I got it in a size 10. Now I feel like a lot of people were looking at this and were like, oh, who would wear that? I heard a lot of people say that when they walked past it. And I was like, god damn, I would wear it. I think it is banging. I think it's a really nice skirt. I think it looks very expensive. It just, oh my god, I've got so many outfits that I'm going to pair it with, like I love it. It's got this really nice kind of zipper detailing at the back and I did recently just see on the website that they actually do it in red as well. So, I might have to pick it up in red. I don't know if red looks tacky but oh my god, I love it. I think it's called the vinyl skirt, I believe it's called the vinyl skirt and oh god, it's so comfy, so nice, really nice to wear on its own, paired with tights, yeah, yep, 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 in my bag. Now picking these at random, next we have a pack of rings. I don't know what it is with me, Primark and rings. Every time I walk into Primark, I walk out with rings. I don't know why that is, they just do the nicest rings. And they've got a couple of rings that they, I think, were featured in Glamour magazine. So they've got a lot of tags with like Glamour on them, which I think is super cute. I picked up these ones, I'm a size small, they are just gold. Usually I will pick up a gold or a rose gold. And I love it. For £2.50 and a 12 pack, you can't really complain. I like these sorts of rings because they're stackable. And I love stackable rings. And you could just wear all gold ones. And I think they would look really sleek with an all black outfit. I just love rings. I do. Yeah, I just love rings. So next, I'm going to show you guys this fluffy jumper. Now, they didn't actually have these displayed. They were kind of on a shelf, but with a photo. And I spotted it, and oh my god, it's one of them fluffy jumpers. You know, like one of them fuzzy, fluffy jumpers? It's a V-neck jumper. I have come to the conclusion, I'm going to quickly just tell you guys, that I don't actually suit like these round necks. This is supposed to be like a round neck like this, and obviously it's a large. So I wear it off the shoulder. But I don't actually suit a round neck. I don't know what it is. I don't know if, if you've got bigger gals, you don't suit. It. I don't know what it is, I feel like a v-neck or something that's a higher neck suits me better. So this one was perfect because it is a v-neck and it's just that blush, you know that baby blush pink colour that I love. Oh my gosh, I was actually looking for this in a size medium but I could only find it in a large. But it, I guess it works out perfectly because I'm going to wear it off the shoulder anyway. So even though it's a v, I'll wear it off the shoulder. Um, just because it's a baggier jumper, baggier knit and you can layer this as well with a really nice a chunky scarf and a big coat on top, I think that would be super cute and this one came in at £10 as well Primark has some banging knits at the moment, really nice ones they're just all different colours, you've got like mustard ones, there's a mustard one that's banging in there as well they've got like velvet knits, just really nice knits but I thought this one was super cute and I think it would be nice with a pair of jeans too then I picked up this top. Now I do this a lot in Primark. Let me know down below if you do this. If you're walking around Primark and there's only one and it's in your size, I'm like, no, it's got, it's, it has to be. It was meant to be. Like that was 
put there for me to find. I'm like that and I pick it up. That was kind of like this with this top. I didn't know where there were any other ones. This one was in a size 10. And this top is actually like cut over style and aesthetic, I suppose. It's got like a cute turtleneck to it. It's got a gold detailed zipper at the back. And it's just a long sleeve top in that kind of chiffon fabric. And do you know what it was about this? Is It's just the cut of it is so, so, so flattering on the body. It makes, it, it makes me look slimmer than what I am. No, it makes me look very slim, which is what I'm not. So it, it really flatters my figure. And then at the back, it's got like this cutaway detail, which is kind of like, I want to say a peekaboo bum. Well, my bum peeks through it, which I think is super cute. But what I would do is I'd actually like to wear this with a pair of shorts. And I think the cut of it would be nice as a dress. If I could get away with it with like a duster jacket so you couldn't see the bum area anyway. is how I would like to wear it. I just feel like it's just a basic top and a staple that is good in your wardrobe. Now I have this jacket. I've seen this jacket before. I saw this jacket, I want to say, around December time last year. So I don't know how it's back out. Maybe someone um, returned it or exchanged it. I don't know. But I saw it then and I didn't pick it up. And then I was like, oh, I wish I picked it up. I am umming and ahhing it. So let me know what you guys think. It is a blush colour. I want to say it's like a leopard print. But I don't know. It reminds me a lot of like PJ, like the PJ style, which I absolutely love. It's that silky material and it's just a blazer and it looks something like this. Just your sort of typical blazer, a bit of a long line blazer. But I really like the print and I really like the blush colour, of course. The thing that actually drew me towards it is that it was on sale. So it was from at £17 down to £10. And I think that's why I was like, oh no, I need to get it. When things are on sale and you're umming and ahhing it, you're most likely going to get it because it's on sale. If that's, I don't know, I don't know the psychology behind it, but that's how I feel anyway. So I'm still thinking about whether I'm going to keep this or not, but I do think it's cute. And I think it would be really nice for like a date night or dinner in the evening. Something quite classy. Then I picked up these beauty drawers from Primark. I've been waiting for ages, forever, for Primark to come out with the bigger ones again. I did have one that was kind of three quarters of the size of this that I put all my concealers in. But I saw this one and I only got one and now I'm kicking myself because I wish I'd got two. It is quite a big drawer though. It's £10 and you get two drawers and it is big. Like This is really good to sit on your dressing table because what's happening with me is I'm overloading with makeup. And I can't fit it in my drawer. So now it's sitting on top of my dressing table. And I haven't anywhere, I haven't got anywhere to put it. So if you've seen my previous Primark hauls, you know I've got a lot of these, but in smaller sizes. That I put like my liquid lips in, my concealers, my lip pencil, stuff like that. And I thought this would be really good for maybe even foundations. Because it is a little bit bigger. So I could put in my go-tos on an everyday basis. And then just kind of go to this drawer. But I love. If I love at this and I feel like I need another one, I'm probably going to go back real quick. To get them because they are kind of going out of stock um but i hope that they'll make it permanent in their range i didn't see the smaller ones which was annoying but i do love these they're very similar to like the muji ones that are very expensive then i have another basic it is just a cardigan now with it getting colder i need to stock up on cardigans because i really don't have that many and this one is another kind of like fuzzy fluffy cardigan which i really like the feel of i got it in black because it's a staple piece and it's going to be easier for me to wear to work as well but it is just your practical basic long long line long pocketed cardigan but in that really soft fluffy material now if you wanted it in a different color they do have blush in it as well but i felt like i'd make more use out of the black and you can just sort of chuck this on top of anything and use it for layering and that's why i got it I forgot to add that this cardigan was £13 and I feel like a lot of their cardigans were going for £13, especially the long line ones. Then I picked up these bad boys. These are really cute headbands. They've just got cat ears on. I think, I don't know, but I think they might have been part of like the Halloween collection. You know with Halloween coming up, they're starting to do all their Halloween stuff at the moment. And obviously if you wanted to be a cat... I didn't get them for that purpose. They were £3 and I got them because I like to wear headbands when I do my makeup. You guys see me do my makeup tutorials and I wanted to switch it up and get some other cat ears. And I thought these were super cute just to keep like the hair off my face when I do my makeup. And I think they're cute. Mm? Okay, so this was my most expensive buy. I'm umming and ahhing it. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. Like, it's bomb. I love it. It looks so expensive. It looks like it's from Topshop. Love, love, love. I'm not too sure, so I need your help to let me know down below if I need to keep it or not. 
It is this kind of maroonish, wineish, burgundy velvet jacket. You know I love Primark and their jackets, right? You know that I always go into Primark and I don't know what it is, I just love their jackets. They do such good jackets and you've really got to look to find a really good one. This one is velvet. It's got gunmetal silver detailing. And I just feel like it looks so luxe. Like just so luxe, so nice. It's really heavy, really weighty. And it's just kind of a banging jacket. I don't know, like with a pair of leggings, with that vinyl skirt, just with them sort of aesthetics, with hoop earrings. I'm feeling that vibe. I actually got it in a size eight because it comes up a lot bigger than what it is. Now, naturally, I am a size 12 and a 10 in jackets, but this one just comes up bigger. So just bear that in mind if you do want to get it. And it did come in at 30 pound, which I do think is expensive, but feeling the weight of it, if feeling how heavy it is, yeah, like I would justify that price. Now they do have some banging jackets out. They've got really nice denim jackets, really nice winter denim jackets as well that I've Snapchatted to you guys and shown you guys on on there. So follow me on Snapchat if you don't because I do do Primark hauls or trips on there quite a lot. But yeah, let me know what you think of this jacket and let me know if you think it suited me and if I should keep it down below. Then I picked up this palette from the makeup section not because I need any more eyeshadow palettes in my life, but just because of the packaging. Like, the packaging killed me. I love it. I saw this on their Snapchat, and I was waiting for it to come out. It smells like peach. So it's called Just a Peachy Eyeshadow Palette. And I feel like it's a take on the Kylie Jenner eyeshadow palettes because it looks very similar. But it smells like peach. Like, it smells like peach, and the colours are really cute. I wouldn't say at all that they're fall. They're very summery colours. So I'm not too sure why they didn't come out with this palette in the summer. But nonetheless, I love the colours and I can't wait to swatch it and to try it. And I just thought it was cute. I thought it'd make a cute Instagram photo. And it's just, yeah, it's really cute. This one came in at £4. If you're interested in this collection, they've also got a highlighter palette that is out that was £4. That was super cute too, but I just kind of don't want to overdo it with the makeup because I really, really don't need it at the moment. Then last but not least, I have to show you this flannel shirt. Now, I was just roaming around the men's section, as you do, because I like the clothing in there. I feel like the menswear clothing is really nice for girls that like, like, kind of like a baggier style, something a little bit edgier. And they had these flannel shirts. They had them in a varied, varied range of colours, but I liked this one. It's kind of like beige, camel, nude, black, I suppose. I guess they're the colours. And I got this one in an extra large, and it was £7. And I just thought this would be super cute with the full time, you know, with like a burgundy, burgundy, what do you call it, a burgundy scarf or even underneath that jacket with that vinyl skirt again in all black. You could wear it just with the buttons all out or you could tie it around your waist. There's so many ways that it's so versatile or you could even wear it as a shirt like flannel dress. So I thought that I'd make a lot of use out of that. And I picked this bad boy up too. So that is it guys for my Primark haul. I hope you guys really enjoyed all the pieces. Let me know which one was your favourite down below. And I know you guys love these videos, love watching them. A lot of you guys ask me on Snapchat whether uh, Primark sponsor me or whether um, they give me money to spend in Primark or to advertise them. And the answer is no. Primark does not know who I am. I just genuinely love their stuff and I think they're good quality for the pricing and I want to share this stuff with you guys because it's affordable right so that's cleared up that up and yeah that's it I, I think I've got nothing else to report as per usual I love you guys so very much and I will see you in my next video Mwah.